Alright guys, welcome back to the Real Hoss Podcast, episode 5, with your hosts, Thomas, <laughs> Lord of Darkness, Benny. <laughs> Lord of Darkness, his name is actually Xavier. No, it's Well, not. no, see, he's been reborn, because yeah. he died last week. Yeah, new haircut. And he's back. Yeah, I get, a, a, I get a new, new haircut, man. and I come back crowned as the king of darkness. It's crazy <laughs> how that works out. So how did you, uh, how did you die? Uh... <laughs> We already said <laughs> car crash. No, it was a uh, Altima car crash. Uh, oh, endless, fair, endless fair. fire. Endless fire. <laughs> <laughs> just had fire. No, that's what you experience after. Yeah, I, you died. <laughs> I ain't going to hell. <laughs> I ain't going to hell. The fire like, literally just extinguished no, no, itself. No, no when I back. when I die, they're sending my ass to an abandoned Kmart. <laughs> <laughs> He's You're gonna stay in purgatory. They're gonna bury you under the Kmart. <laughs> this motherfucker's never gonna see air again. <laughs> well. What's up, guys? Welcome back. I mean, you weren't here last week, yeah. but we had uh, Gas FL on. Good episode. Yeah, you, th- you liked it? Yeah, we God, I couple. wish I was funny. We had a couple <laughs> hooligans God. take your spot. That's yeah, crazy. Well, Never again! It was appreciated. You had pretty much damn near the vid from what it sounded like, yeah. but not exactly, of I was, course. I was sick for a day and a half. Fuck that. You tested. It was weird. Bullshit. Yeah, yeah no, that's what I'm saying. I know you're going to have bullshit. the actual vid, bullshit, but dude. it seemed like it was COVID-19 is gone now. It's COVID-20. You can't say, dude, you're spreading misinformation. I, got COVID, you can't I, got, do I love it. spreading I got, misinformation. I, I got on YouTube COVID 30 and Spotify. <laughs> I got COVID 30. <laughs> I pop a COVID. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not popping any of that. What the hell? I'm good on all that. Yeah. So, do you guys like the the new middle piece? Huh? Huh? A little pillow? Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to sleep on that. Half yeah, evil I, pillow? I don't know what 333 is. It's, it's a logo, man. Oh, is it like. Unlucky numbers or something, something magic. No, it's half evil. Six six six. It's half is evil. evil. Do you get it? Oh wow! I'm, it's so I'm crazy. Smart. I understand. Yeah. Ugh. Meanwhile, you're wearing Culture Kings. What's wrong with this? You don't like this shirt? It's got Lord of the Rings on it. I mean, it's a cool yeah, shirt. It's a cool, it's it's a cool, cool shirt. shirt until you turn around and it says Culture King on the back. It doesn't. Yeah, it, it says does. Nazgul. Oh, it does. It says Nazgul on the back, bro. Shirts. Your sh- turn around. Sandman, you show, you show vintage Sandman shirt. Sure, you ain't, f- y'all ain't fucking you with this. Me that it said Culture King somewhere. on the tag. Oh, okay. It's the only place it fucking says it, idiot. Spotify listeners m- are melting right now. <laughs> I want to see the shirt. I want to see the shirt so bad. I need to follow see. Us, follow us on Instagram.com. It'll yeah. be posted at some point. Everywhere. I'm sure. Everywhere. You'll see, You'll see us. We're everywhere. On Instagram? We're on Instagram. We're on, Wik- we're on Wikipedia. We're on. We're not on Wikipedia. <laughs> I got to get on that. So. Yeah. We're on TikTok. We're TikTokers. We got some pretty wild TikTok I'm not a content. TikToker. I'm 27 years old, Speaking man. of wild TikTok content. Yeah. It hasn't come out yet, but I need our viewers to be keeping a close eye. It'll be out on by our the page. time this episode drops. Yeah, I guess. But yeah, fair. by the time yeah. this episode comes out, it'll be out. Yeah. Check out on TikTok, probably everywhere to be honest. I made the world's best burger. Mm, and yeah. I'm so yeah. yummy. Yeah, it looked such a yummy hamburger. Looked edible, safe for human consumption and all. What yeah. was your first thought when you watched the video? Um I really need to stop laughing so hard in a in a restaurant in a public place. <laughs> I looked like a crazy person. I was having an asthma attack. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> what restaurant? Uh, Culver's. You're just in Culver's, yeah. dying. Culver's? Just surrounded Culver's by old crazy. people. <coughs> yeah. What Shout did you think Culver's. about uh, the Best burger fast as food you burger. Were watching it? Uh, it was like a fever dream watching it all happen. Then the smoke alarm went off. Yeah, I'm that excited. Was cool. I'm yeah. excited. And the smoke alarm didn't go off for no reason. Me and Callie figured it out. Oh, what was it? Well, I silenced the your ADT alarm eight times, and then Callie opened the door, and then yeah. you had to answer a call. It was, it, it was, was quite hectic. the production. If you guys didn't see it, you need to see it because it was, <laughs> it, it cost us everything. <laughs> Every it was beautiful. He lost his house. Damn near. Yeah, <laughs> almost lost my fucking mind, dude. I know I said it was the You've best burger, but I'm it. gonna I'm gonna go beyond the illusion of saying that it was a good burger. I took a bite out of it, and I. That was the worst thing I've ever taken a bite out of in my entire life. It looks pretty well, it had awful. It syrup, was bad. orange juice. It had. That just sounds like breakfast, ketchup. 
That's mayonnaise. Just, okay, never mind. A lot it of garlic powder. Gar- uh, uh, too much garlic powder. Too much salt. That's not a thing. I'm sorry. Too much. No, too much garlic powder in one spot. It was not spread uh, okay, evenly. Okay, okay, okay. It was all in the center of the burger. It wasn't cooked all the way. A lot of mayonnaise. He had uh, t- a chunk of tomato that he peeled off with his bare hands. I had uh, hot dogs that I tore apart <laughs> with my dogs. bare hand and. Uh, why doesn't why does you forgot was the cheese, bro? Why doesn't anyone yeah, why doesn't anyone do that? Has anyone ever just like put a hot dog inside of a hamburger and been like, I made a new thing? I'm sure they have. <laughs> I made a new thing. <laughs> I'm sure they have. Uh, and I would definitely eat a hot dog. Uh, you know what the most fucked up food that anybody has ever made is is a cheese stuffed hot dog. Yeah, no, that's good. I that's fucking not, hate that's that. That's not fit for human consumption no. at all. I hate oh, that. It's so yummy. The cheddar, the jalapeno you seem like the t- cheddar. Oh, dude, honestly, it really doesn't surprise me dogs. that you like that. Oh, I know. The jalapeno yeah, cheddar yeah, dogs at Circle K, bro. Are we, Come on. Oh, here we go. Here I'm go. all about here gas station. Here we go. We get it. You're invincible. You're not harmed I'm by anything. I'm stronger than you. Dude, Thomas came over last night. Stronger uh, isn't the word I'd use, but. <laughs> me, and, me and Callie made hot dogs and You're hamburgers. Mutated. This guy is showing me the correct method for cooking a hot dog. He's like, hey, you got to. He starts cracking it. He starts cracking it down Yeah, the and it dog. was gas, wasn't it? It's it was like, good. Well, it's but like I mean, you put like, slits on the, on the hot dog when don't you cook it on the grill. Don't ever say slit on this slit. podcast ever again. You put slit. But I mean like slits slit. on the hot dog. I've put slits not, on the hot dog. Ways, no. I've put slits on the hot dog with a knife or something, but you were just Yeah. It you was you're man, Why you're man you handling the raw dogs with your bare hands. Yeah. I cook hot dogs like like a man. You were cracking it like a glow stick. Yeah, you're gonna die like a man too when you get fucking food poisoning. I, I'm going to die from a heart attack at the age of 42. Absolutely. Honestly, anybody to get food poisoning was definitely going to be me yesterday after that <laughs> fucking burger. I, I'd be laying in bed with Gabby all the time, and I'm just looking at her, and I'm like, you know, someday I'm just going to have a really bad life-altering stroke. I hope Let's you're ready for that. Let's fucking go. And she's like, she's like, you got to stop manifesting that. And I was like, I'm not manifesting it. It just runs in my bloodline. You got to prepare. I mean, hey, I'm going to be real, you know, if like, that's like, uh, if you're like a, if let's say you're like a musician and your name is like Car Crash. <laughs> like just hypothetically okay. speaking, you're bound to get into a car crash. You're manifesting that. Like it's like if everyone just calls you what, car the crash. Band, everyone in the band, the Strokes, had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Well, you works. should look that up. <laughs> don't look it up. If one member of the Strokes had a stroke, there's some <laughs> weight to what you're saying. That's fair. <laughs> amigos, they're not friends anymore. They're not friends anymore. Not friends anymore. They're not. They're like not us. amigos. They're not. We're gonna amigos. be like amigos. No, we're not. I mean, Mama! I'm in the trap house. Me go. I don't like any of y'all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Um, bringing it back to uh, your in, your TikTok Instagram video. Yeah. Speaking of content that yeah. sucks. Yeah. Really oh yeah. Bad. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um, I think. Have you guys seen a lot of those like the YouTube tough guys? Me. Like just like the the manosphere is that what you're talking about? Like no, Andrew like, Tate. Like the dudes who like they show like they have that. the short videos and they're always like teaching self defense. Or they're doing, oh. like, Kung Fu and oh, stuff. Oh, that's me. Those are so crazy. There's this one guy on YouTube that I watch. What's his name? His name is Tony Valente. That guy sounds like an idiot. Wing, he, he does he does Wing Chun or I something? I was going to say, he's got some martial arts under his belt for some reason. <laughs> no, he's, like, he's like borderline 60 years old. Good for him. And then, like, for him. he's always, like... Him. <laughs> Me he's, too. He's like, I mean, dude, he's sixty years old. And of then course, every, like, everyone in the comments is like, again. everyone in the comments is like, I'd fold that fucking <clears throat> bitch. It sounds like your problem is the the comments in these videos, not the guy. Yeah. You should well, no, fight those people. You, you should fight them. Why why don't those people like they should like pick people out of the comments and be like, I'll fly you out and fight you right now. Dude, somebody actually I did wish that. You'd fly me out. Somebody and fight did him. that. Uh I don't <clears throat> this guy named Sharp. Yeah, sure. I love, uh, have you ever seen those videos of those guys that are like, said, okay, they're like, sure. they're like Reiki masters and they're like, they're like energy Kung Fu. And then they fight, yeah. they fight like an actual mm. martial artist and they get their shit rocked. Yeah. Those videos are so fucking you funny. You said energy dude. Kung Fu. Yeah. <laughs> they're like making force fields and shit. And people, the people that train under them are so deluded Us. and like sold on it that they just like, they'll pass out. He'll like blow air at them and they just pass out. Dude, I literally did like that when I was trying to play like, Avatar yeah, Avatar. that's me. <laughs> like, pretend Avatar. Yeah. yeah. That rocks. That's crazy. Yeah. Now that I can get behind. Well, speaking of pretend guys, uh, what do you think about those fucking one cent burgers that they're selling? I don't know anything I'm, about it. I'm, I've heard tale. I thought it was fake. I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real. I'm not going to play devil, devil's advocate here, but I don't trust anything anymore. 
I think a, a one cent burger is a, it's just, I don't know. Everything's, nothing's free. There's always a catch. Right? You, don't, you don't think that all these that, co- they're putting chips in the burgers. You don't think doing the you don't think, potato chips. You don't think all these corporations could just make so much money from fast food and burgers for one day in a year? They were just like, hey, fifty cents, take it. I don't. You said one cent. Though. I don't. Well, think there's it. there's different promotions for each. Store. <laughs> I think Wendy's does one cent or something like that. McDonald's is doing like fifty cents. It's just someone else is doing like buy one get one. Like, no, it's yeah, three days. Yeah, it's, I think oh, it'll be for. It's for one day, and then they raise their prices through the roof I forever. I could have swore some places I'm pretty sure are doing it for a couple days, like three days. Watch. I think McDonald's no, specifically. No, is. watch. They're going to do this, and then like <coughs> they're going to be like, oh, inflation's so bad, and then they're going to raise the price of a hamburger to like $17, and if, they're going to be like, oops. McDoubles doing, are pretty pricey. They're like yeah. three bucks. If they were doing one-cent hamburgers, and I knew about it, I would buy like 200 of them, and then I would just peg them at like people on <laughs> well, the street. Well, see, I, I don't know if you're just trying to take that from me, but I just said what? No, like, you wanted yesterday? to give them away. No, no I didn't. You did. I said, let's go buy a hundred <laughs> fucking burgers and figure out something to do. And you were like, yeah, I mean, I guess we could like give them away. And fill. I'm like, I guess. Wait, like, didn't that- you talk shit about those people like two weeks ago? Yeah, yeah. but no, I wanted to do it in like a funny way. <laughs> Giving like, see, homeless- no, he no. said he wanted to do it. He tried to put this <laughs> no, shit on me. Street. No, I just wanted to buy the burgers and throw them in the car. No, you go, like- imagine, 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 imagine you go up to some stranger on the street. You say, hey, you want this hamburger? I'll give it to you for free. Only there will be one cost. This man's got a whole script behind this, be and like, he tried to plant it on I'm me. I like, can't get over it. Man, I don't really want the hamburger. I'm like, come on, dude, it's for content. And they'll be like, all right, bet. And then I'm like, okay, you have to jump over your own leg if you want the hamburger. And then they do the, the thing where they hold their foot, and they try to jump over their own leg, and they eat shit. I don't know. I think that's unusually cruel. <laughs> I'm unusually <laughs> cruel. You're, you, you bought a burger for a penny, and you're like, hey, man, fall on your face or, or get this burger. <laughs> or or, one of the, or, or one they the could other. just walk across the street and go to the McDonald's and get the burger for a penny. I'll be far away from the McDonald's. That's yeah, you, you, got, you got to go somewhere where they can't get to a McDonald's. <laughs> now, I feel like if you approach someone in a place where you're in, there's not a McDonald's nearby, you're in like the middle of nowhere. I'm going I, to rural like downtown. You'd get shot. Right I'm going in the park. To, go to the, the uh, park and be like, there's no McDonald's around yeah. here. I'm going to rural Arcadia. And I'm knocking yeah, on Arcadia, doors with a Florida. hammer. <laughs> with a hammer? Oh, you're going to die. With, with 200 hamburgers, I'm oh, knocking on doors a hamburger. in rural Arcadia. Oh, yeah, you, you're going to die. Yeah. Arcadia will kill you. Yeah, you'll definitely get shot. Nah, I got, I got the mullet. They'll be like, all right. No, they'll know. There's a difference between your Not if mullet. I wear the right There's outfit. a difference between your mullet and a real mullet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like the CBD mullet. Yeah. Uh, when I was getting this, uh, when oh I was getting God. this, our, our shared barber, Sam Paulson, uh, said this is a don't walk into Home Depot ass mullet. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I just wouldn't walk into Home Depot in general. That's honestly, like I love Home Depot. Honestly, dude. okay. The only reason I like Home Depot, and I'm sure every man on the planet can agree, I just go for the smell. The smell, yeah. Dude. It's like going into. Uh, it's oh like God. it's like Yankee Candle for men. Yeah, the smell. I get it. No, I, for real. <laughs> Since I, I was a kid, Yankee lumber. Since Shut I was a up. kid, I love that smell. Lumber. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> lumber. I just had to go back real quick. You got an H and M ass mullet, but <laughs> oh my Home God. Depot. <laughs> You got I do three like, hairs on your head. That's fair. I like the smell of uh, I'm balding. Lo- uh, labor. Ain't we all? Lumber. We're just taking medication for it. I'm not. Shout out uh, Keeps. <laughs> oh, my God. Shout out Finished Ride. Would you, Sponsor us. They just sent us $5 in the mail <laughs> in, a, in a yellow envelope. With, with is, is this anthrax? They should give me three months free because that shit is $78 every three months. It's terrible. I mean, hey man. I think if I got it prescribed by like a real doctor, it'd be cheaper though. No, No, it would be thousands of dollars. No, Gabby says it's really cheap. To walk into a doctor's office, thousands of dollars. But once you have the finished ride prescribed to you, it's cheap. You you step in the doctor's office and they're like, mm, pull the wallet out. I need to see how much maybe money's in there. Maybe don't like pull you apart down. keeps his uh, like business plan because like they do kind of give out like you know a little bit of sponsors for podcasts. Sponsor us. We're balling. Sponsors, give it. Give us some of those. <laughs> give us. Give us some of those dick pills you've been advertising <laughs> all the time. What? You, you get. You those? get a what? keeps. You get a keeps dick what? pill, and maybe you that's... wake up and your shit's covered in hair. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that this was is the wrong pill. <laughs> maybe that was Hims. Hims has. This Hims has. Uh, Hims has the dick mints. Dick mints. <laughs> yeah, it's a mint that makes it. That's what you your mom need. <laughs> so they're like, hey, no, I'm just kidding. I'm that's, just kidding. That's smart I love you, Chris. I was just kidding. That's whoa. smart marketing, bro. We give you the finished ride so that your dick stops working, and then we give <laughs> you the Viagra to fix it. They made them poison and the cure. Exactly. 
That's that's right. capitalism at its finest. The that's cre- uh, the creator of Skittles is also the founder of cancer. Wait, he's the CEO so? of cancer. <laughs> <laughs> CEO of cancer industries. That's me. Us. That's me. All right. Well, after that, that was a weird one. That okay, was crazy. So. That was good. Yeah. So, uh, hey, next topic, guys. Uh, Katy Perry. She sold her entire music catalog. How much? Two hundred and twenty-five million. Didn't Future get like, damn? I don't think Future. He sold like. He's I think he sold all of what he had at one point, but he's just made. Yeah, I think he, got, he only got like seventy million, something like that. 80 I mean, million. you can not for nothing. Your, Katy Perry is. What do you mean you sell your music to like what? It, the um, rights. You, yeah, the you rights sell you sell the, all your publishing rights to the label, and they get a hundred percent of the money from the streaming and the oh. loyalties or royalties. I mean, yeah, that makes yeah. sense. But I mean, if if you're like done making music, just taking a two hundred million dollar check is kind of crazy. You Katy just, Perry's probably invested in so many other things. Yeah, she's like, I don't yeah. give a fuck. I don't. Even Shout out Katy Perry. Actually, I think I think they portrayed her in a really weird way and then everyone realized like after she was done being like super famous they were like wait a minute she's kind of cool oh what the hell never mind yeah I actually heard some questionable things about that sucks Muriel oh that sucks um one thing I will say about Katy Perry is that um I was at my friend's house the other day and we were playing Magic the Gathering and Pokemon (laughs) what and, How does this mix? And the entire time we were playing, <clears throat> this is so weird that you brought up Katy Perry. We were just listening to Katy Perry. I don't know why. I think I think uh, you were you were listening to like Zach's roommate Ryan just loves Katy Perry, and he was just playing. Katy y'all Perry. just weren't listening to like like Elvin Forest music. No, we were listening. To, we were listening to. Are you ready for? That's the, the perfect storm. What? How? How did? How like did? Four it, times. How did the Juicy J feature come along for that song? Like they were like they were like we just need like a guy. Juicy J was on the Miley Cyrus song, the Katy Perry song. Juicy J is just he's on just like songs, on yeah. top pop songs. Yeah. He's new Jay Z. No, what? Hell no, no, he's not at Hell all. No. What are you talking in the, about? In the in the in the sense that he's in everything. I've heard he's kind of an asshole, actually. <laughs> I'm sure he's done some like weird stuff. Like I'm not I'm not a fan of their music, but I assume uh, every rich su- person Suicide Boys people. Suicide Boys has sampled a lot of Three Six Mafia music, and they got like explicit like spoken uh, like a spoken agreement with him that that was like okay, and then he turned around and sued them for like millions of dollars shortly after. I'm like, wow, that is that's fucked up. Yeah, it's a grimy look, but yeah. also they should have put it in writing, I guess. Fuck Suicide Boys. Suicide I mean, they Boys suck. Corny. Yeah, they suck. Um, sorry to our listeners who like Suicide Boys. I'm so sorry. Sorry you like Suicide Boys. Yeah, really. thanks. Um, I hate Suicide Boys. Yeah. <laughs> oh just my, keep going. Oh my god. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Wow. Um, Katy Perry. Yeah, Katy Perry. You know what I hate? What? I hate. Uh, this kind of brings it back to Home Depot. Think of Home Improvement. Okay. I fucking hate Tim Allen, dude. <sighs> we got Christmas coming up soon. And I know uh, that Tim Allen. Yeah, uh, no, fuck that guy. Uh, I would kill him with a hammer. We, we need we need Tim Allen sounds on the soundboard. <laughs> fuck that stupid guy. I, he's, he's he's one of those. He's one of those literally like. Do you guys have anyone whose face you just can't see? Oh yeah, like, for sure. In, ter- in terms of that. like, in terms of like Hollywood, yeah, I definitely got a couple. Um, I know everyone loves him, but Owen Wilson. I have a reason why I don't like Owen he Wilson. Kind of sucks. Because when I was a kid growing up, I watched co- nothing but Comedy Central. Right? Yeah. That motherfucker did every goddamn he was in every movie. Every yeah. fucking he was the only guy that they could they'd hire for comedy movies because he was just like I'll take it I guess. Yeah, he I, had like an influx of fucking appearances. And he just there he's so many I've seen. So so many shitty B movie, like B tier comedy movies, or Dane Cook. I also fucking hate Dane Cook. I, I think hate everyone Dane hates Dane, Dane, Dane Cook. Cook's in some I fucking. I love Dane Cook when I was a kid. But he had a time. Didn't he but... like? Didn't he pull like a Dave Chappelle like kind of almost? He he went like left field real quick out of nowhere. I have no idea. I think he just stopped fucking. No, doing... he's still doing stuff. What was the thing? Really? But he's like really like offensive. Is that his thing. He was always offensive. Well, I know, but he became like. Like Dave Chappelle level, he's like, po- like he's like, like politically offensive. Yeah, yeah, he got he he's like red pilled. Uh, <laughs> Dane Cook is red pilled. Is crazy. He's just yelling like, "What the fuck is going on with Biden?" Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that sucks, dude. Stand up comedy man. sucks, but not as bad as Tim Allen, dude. All the Santa Claus movies, his face, Home Improvement. Everyone's like, "Oh, Home Improvement." I oh, love oh, Home oh. Improvement. I fucking hate Tim Allen. I don't know why. It's it's just been a thing like my entire life that I've just I've just hated him. It's a damn shame. Yeah, so I hate Tim Allen. Uh, Gabby feels this way about Ed Sheeran. 
I hate Ed Sheeran. Oh no, he uh, he's he awful. He has the worst outfits in the music industry, like no question, no bars held, like the worst outfits there's of all a, time. There's a specific photo that Gabby always shows me when she talks about Ed Sheeran and gets like in her, like she, she her blood starts to boil when she talks about him. And there's a photo of his eyes and they're like cockeyed. Yeah, Have you yeah. Seen the one? He, no, yeah. There's a there's a picture of him like that. Speaking, he of, looks like a toad. Speaking of the outfits, there's a picture of him with his like his eyes are cockeyed. He's wearing like a striped. <clears throat> polo shirt like a short sleeve polo yeah. with like baggy ass jeans and yeezy twos if you know your shoes that is the worst out like he tried to dress like kanye in 2006 in 2014 oh and he looks like an idiot that sucks he dresses dude. so bad dude it's unbelievable he just freaks me the fuck out he no. looks like uh I'm trying to think of a specific character from Courage the Cowardly Dog, like the shrinkled up old man with the oh, big eyes. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I know exactly. I'm glad that could pop about. up for you because I can't think of the name, but for some reason I just relate is him to he, that. Is he the Return the Slab guy? No. No, not the Return no, the Slab no, guy. No, no, I'm the, the Return the Slab guy. That's me. Thing. Yeah. No, I, I know it's you're It's just an about, old though. guy with like a big eye. And yes. Like a, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just talking about. I don't know. That's what I think about him. Shout out Courage Cowardly Dog. Courage Cowardly Dog. That's a good show. What would you guys, you know. Impromptu topic here. What would you guys say your like favorite childhood cartoon was? Damn, Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network. Yeah, cartoon, fuck Disney. Cartoon Network. So like my all in all favorite cartoon ever is probably Tom and Jerry. I've been watching that since I was like born. The only thing I love Tom and Jerry brings a, a level of peace to me. I don't know That's how fair. to describe it. Something about watching the cat. Run around, smack the mouse. That, with that the damn cat. Them. That goddamn pussy cat. I love it. And then the music, and then the sound effects, everything. And about then it. the. <laughs> I love Tom and Jerry, dude. I fucking eat Tom and Jerry. Oh I was my watching God. it a couple months back, and I watched like all of it like four times. What about you, Xavier? I got a few, man. Uh, okay, hot take. I mean, not really a hot take. Only the first, what is it? For, is it the first two seasons of SpongeBob? When when did the movie come out? The movie was after like only a couple it was like seasons, 2000, right? Two thousand, I think. Maybe it was only like the second season. After yeah, the second season. Everything, I mean, everything after that was pretty good, and then it like obviously like became horrible, and they still run episodes after yeah. Hillenburg died, which is terrible, or whatever his name is, and then. Oh man, Codename Kids Next Door is one that really oh, like. Oh, Candy was awesome. I I uh, love the the concurrent like storyline that they have in that show. Yeah. It was they were they were clearly trying to do something like a lot bigger than what they were allowed to do, mm -hmm. and it got more than the it, other shows. It, on it got can, it got time. canned after the fifth or sixth season, but the creator is still trying to get a new show greenlit that like expands like the the That'd universe and stuff. Yeah, where they like they travel made, space and shit. I mean, six seasons made a lot. Honestly. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Yeah. Bad. You know what's also like uh, a show that I watched as a kid that really holds up like super good is Teen Titans. Oh, absolutely. I've been watching Teen Titans. Dude, absolutely. Like, like Avatar I, The Last Airbender, also really awesome. Avatar's super sick. If, but Avatar has like moments where it feels kiddie. Teen Titans is like, you can watch that as an adult and be like, this is fucking sick. That's, I, dude, that's the craziest. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, Teen Titans is crazy. I feel like people don't really like associate it with DC because obviously it is a DC show. But mm -hmm. in the mid 2000s, DC was killing it on yeah. their animated stuff. That's, I feel like. I'm, I fucking I, I hate cape shit, dude. I really do not like it. I have a couple movies that I like that are like they're good on their own, but DC should have stuck with animated stuff. They could have really like gone like a totally different direction and not did the live action movies yeah. and just just made really really good animated movies and they would have done well in theaters. I feel that, but they uh, don't. They they just hate making good stuff. I guess. Not to bring it back, but my favorite cartoon. No, you're okay. Was probably. If I had to pick like a top one for nostalgia and just like how it makes me feel, it's probably Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Oh, Ed, yeah, Ed is good. yeah. The animation that's been my is favorite like show for insane. A long it's time. so good. It's, crazy. it's very, it's <laughs> very like Hanna Barbera like yeah. influenced, which I like. Uh, I'm trying to remember what other shows. Uh, is it Barbera? I thought it was Hanna Barbera. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. I'm just Tom and Jerry. I'm mispronouncing everything Hanna -Barbera. today. I guess. It's I'm, Barbera. Yeah, Barbera. Yeah. It's Hanna Barbera. Okay. Oh, dude, I love pizza, French fries. Everyone, <laughs> everyone, everyone's talked about it already. But dude, the last episode of Camp Laszlo is fucking batshit insane. Oh, Rinse, <laughs> repeat. <clears throat> to make a real quick summary, uh, uh, the whole show, Scoutmaster Lumpus was in, yeah. he was impersonating the camp 
the leader of the camp, he kidnapped the guy, stole his clothes, and locked him in a supply closet yeah. for three months. It was fucking insane. And he made he he got everyone in the town to stop wearing clothes and paint their clothes on, so they did. Oh, I remember that, dude. It's fucking. That was the last crazy. episode. Yes, dude. I didn't even realize. like. They just they just had no way to wrap it up. They were so like they just threw it all. They out. were like, they were like fuck, fuck it. it. Yeah. I throw the whole show out the window. I would say that whole wave of like. Camp Laszlo, Chowder, and all that. That was like the end of good Cartoon Network. Like yeah, that I was agree. the last. That's there's good shows. Network. There's good show. Uh, Adventure Time. I didn't really fuck with Adventure regular Time. Show, much. Regular Uncle show. Uncle Grandpa. Yo, yo. Let me tell you, Uncle Grandpa. Adventure Time is crazy. If you're, if you're a guy that likes lore, and you like lore and like... Adventure Time's okay. Like, no, there's deep, a lot more like, to Adventure really, Time like, than like, I ever su- knew. Super rich storytelling. Adventure Time is amazing. Yeah. And f- I've been watching Fiona and Cake. Um, is it good? It's cool. It's there. They is it comparable? They've like, oh, dude. It's they've expanded. It's it's strictly like a story driven. It's not like one episode off. Fillers. Like, yeah, yeah. But it's like a very. It's like an. It's an extremely deep expansion of the plot of like the greater like universe of Adventure Time. It's okay. sick. It's really good. Okay, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't put it as there's no more good, like. Cartoon but shows there's a lot that. of misses. But it's 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 more so like my comfort era of Cartoon Network, like the shows that that like are stylized the way that I remember them being when I was a kid are gone. Yeah, you're old. Like yeah, like it's okay. Camp, you like, just say you're there's, old. There's not any shows like like Camp Laszlo. There's not any shows like pretty much like Ed, Ed and Eddie anymore. Like yeah. they're all different now. Dude, regular show is no. Actually, you know what? I've I've genuinely regular show is funny. But that sec, show's over. One sec, one sec. I've genuinely been watching the show for like the past two weeks, and it is so fucking funny. The uh, Amazing World of, of Gumball. Oh, Amazing World of Gumball. There's lots of pop that show is references. insane. Isn't that show still running? I I don't know. I don't know. I Gumball's, think it is. Gumball's it, good. It seems very current because it's it doesn't feel like dated. Like it yeah. still it's it feels it is a very up-to-date. it's the art style that does it. It's the, dude, the art style is insane. The shit it's, that they do and like their humor is just it genuinely makes me laugh. It's yeah. not like little cartoony humor. Like I it's fucking, funny. I love cartoons, man. I love being 27 and being into <laughs> cartoons. Well, now you're old, so you don't fucking care anymore. There's yeah. there's no more like, oh, I got to worry about being cool. So you just enjoy whatever the fuck you want. I'm That's also, like my favorite thing about being in my late 20s. I, I'm also actually, I love hating. I, I, Pokemon. I know you love I prefer hating. to hate, actually. I do not like loving things. I'm a professional hater. You said Pokemon? Yep. <laughs> that Pokemon? shit sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate Pokemon. Xavier hates Pokemon. Pokemon I, sucks now. It's so bad. I love Digimon. Speaking of old cartoons. Sucks they, do, sucks they don't make good Digimon games, really. They, they, they try. Did. They try. They did. They did. But, uh, a new you one know, came out recently fair, that looked pretty cool. To make, to make so a good Digimon Cyber game. Sleuth? Cyber Sleuth. Yeah. They're okay. Yeah, those, like ones, two, those ones are decent. You ones. would realistically have to make Digimon like Pokemon for it to be like the maximum amount of fun, but then it'd just be rip-off Pokemon. Yeah. But at the same time, Pokemon's just doing the same shit every over and over. Might as well. Oh, just... but no one cares. They eat it up. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but Digimon, Digimon was really rich in like storytelling. I always liked oh, it more yeah. than Pokemon because I think the story is a little more like grim, a lot more grim. Actually, well, Tamer, Tamers is crazy. Tamers man. is crazy. Like Tamers is nuts. it's it's not like oh I want to catch them all, be the very best. It's T- more like oh there's digital monsters invading the world. They're gonna kill everyone. Digimon Tamers is D- Digimon Tamers is kind of like Pokemon meets like Serial Experiments Lane. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. fucked up. It's super Dude, weird. Digimon Tamers is is my favorite arc of Digimon yeah. for sure. We're just nerding the fuck out right uh, now. The this part is I, I I can't really. The part where Leomon. It's just mm. murdered. Oh yeah, yeah. By fucking Bezelmon, just uh, straight up, just cold blooded murdered. He kills yeah. him. And then, and then right after was that, that Tamers or was that season two? That's probably Tamers. I don't know. And then after that, and then after that, we're like, okay, now we fuse with the Digimon. I love that shit though. That shit. Front, Frontiers was good. That shit's sick. Digimon Frontiers was good. Goofy, um, a goofy ass fucking premise. Definitely but. goofy. I remember that one a lot from when I was a kid. I remember uh, the Digimon movie. That was sick. The Digimon movie is really cool. Um, the, uh, the Digimon movie is really funny because there's a movie, there's an anime movie that's like super popular that's like really good. It's called Summer Wars. Mm-hmm. Summer War. I'm pretty sure it's made by the same studio that made that movie. It is literally the exact same movie. Really? And no one ever, no one's like, yeah, the, I don't know. This movie's kind of like the same thing as the Digimon movie. It's like a bunch of people just like chilling, like having a good time, and then and like being there's like a, being there's like a cyber attack, and there's like a missile. Yeah. Mm. Being like that got hacked. It's the same movie. It's so funny. Is there a missile in the Digimon movie? Yeah, yeah. There's like a yeah, like they launch like a nuke. And remember it lands in like the lake at the end of the movie? 
I don't like, remember that. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember that. I remember that, the that's, fucking, that's what the thing was. The that, virus guy. What's his name? The, yeah, yeah. The virus was like, he was like hacking like weapons systems. Okay, I remember, yeah. okay, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There was like see, a, you don't see this shit in Pokemon, bro. What? They're <laughs> hacking nuclear weapons? Like, <laughs> Digimon rocks. Yeah. Fuck anyone who says Digimon sucks. It's awesome legalized nuclear bombs this is this is gonna it. be an oh, off i want to fuck you can fuck the digimon this <laughs> look like you can fuck <laughs> no! them, but this like... is gonna be like completely off topic oh, but kind of okay. on topic that's it's fine. like digimon there was this toy that i had when i was a little ass kid it was like um i couldn't remember but it looked like like a pokedex type thing sure and you go and you scan barcodes yes and you get different i know monsters. what you're talking that about that was the coolest shit when i was why was kid. that like the thing back in the early 2000s was like argument reality yeah like <laughs> whoa spy gear remember spy gear dude i just got a fucking monster from campbell's soup <laughs> that's sick. Or like they're like there'd be like games oh, cool they're, they're like there are so many video games that are like uh it's like scan a circle to open a portal like yeah. who the fuck like what a stupid gimmick just give me the goddamn video game. you telling me i have to get up off my seat and do something to play the damn video game Get the fuck out of here. Did you ever play with the... Pokemon I, Go is the modern version Fuck of Pokemon that. Go. Did you guys ever have the eye toy? Or the eye... The I know what you're talking... I, I know what you're talking thing. about. I can't believe that no, that did not take off. That like, was a crazy thing back yeah. then, huh? And then, like, the Wii came out, like, five years later. Do you remember on Everyone Play- acted like it never happened. Do you remember the place when PlayStation 2 was the first... Like, they were the first ones to try and augment to do the live... Oh, yeah. All, they, no, they did so much stuff. The mm-hmm. PlayStation yeah. 2 is crazy. PlayStation 2 did that, and then they had... What are you talking about? The the fucking it was a cartridge you put on the back of the PlayStation Two to give it internet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So okay. you could play online with people. I knew you could do. It I used like to watch my Ethernet older brother shit, play EverQuest. <laughs> and EverQuest, EverQuest was sick. Ever no. What's speaking that? of EverQuest, I'm I'm uh, EverQuest I, was sick. I recently bought. I, I know y'all Are know, but for, for the podcasters, uh, I recently <laughs> bought a, a massive big box PC collection and is like. All the nerdiest shit you can imagine, like yeah. Duke Nukem, Star Trek, fucking wizards and warriors and... It, Hell yeah. But there's a big fucking a copy of EverQuest in there. And it's what like, is EverQuest? It's a, it's, it was, it's the, MMO. It was the first like really huge like 3D MMO like okay. that like really took off. What, when did it come out? Like when we were younger? Early 2000. 2000, like two yeah, probably. Yeah. I, I feel like I wonder if I would see it if I know what you're talking about. But it's, I've never if you, the, name. the logo is probably the only thing you'll recognize. But okay. yeah. World of Warcraft before World of Warcraft. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. It was cool. Uh, I, MMOs are crazy. Fuck, dude. Catch me dead. Tr- like, committing genuine time to an MMO. I used to play RuneScape when I was a kid, like every fucking kid our age. Yeah. I love it. And, like, I was, I was super entrenched in RuneScape, and I still wasn't, like, in it. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I was playing that shit every day for, like, five hours, and I still... There are people that... Like watch movies with RuneScape like minimized in the corner of their mm. screen. My my friend Mick does that. That shit's fucked my friend up. Mick dude. is playing RuneScape. Are you right now. are you playing the game or are you just like you're on autopilot? I know it's like at that point, what's the po- oh, you're paying money it every seems month like you're just for this? On autopilot. It's you're ridiculous. Like, Why can't they just make an MMO where they, you don't need to do that? So when it's like in the corner, are they grinding still while yeah. doing other? Yes, things? Yes, they're or? doing yeah. like extremely repetitive tasks that like require like three mouse clicks. And I'm like, holy fuck, man! And and sometimes they have like codes like so that they can mm. just auto do. I think RuneScape now lets you just auto do the stuff. Mm. But I remember I used to play Perfect World. Uh, was a really cool MMO I used to play. I played Requiem. I played Terra. I played Fantasy Star. I did Star. play Terra a little I, bit. Dude, Fantasy I Star's play, crazy. I, I love, I love Star. MMOs. I just can't ever like find like friends who want to commit to yeah. MMOs like yeah. that because it consumes you. Yeah. Let's all just play Fantasy Star. That's why I want to play I want to play Final Fantasy 14 really bad, but I know that if I like get some friends together and play that shit it's just <laughs> never going to end. I'll play it with you. That shit looks good. Apparently it's like the best MMO right now. WoW's pretty much like not dead, but WoW's dead. Wow's not dead. One of my coworkers is obsessed with Wow. FF fourteen. FF fourteen is like significantly taken the, um, the Wow share. is is exclusively wow. played wow. by like people in their thirties and fifties. Yeah, for like sure. Old people yeah, yeah. play Wow now. That sucks. <laughs> I don't want to play that. <laughs> I, the only time I've ever but played you're World old, of Warcraft man. was uh, the trial. I had it for like a week. It was so boring. I was like, dude, this sucks dick. That's like, the I worst. Want to play that's this. the funniest thing about MMOs is like, imagine giving a trial to your game that's the worst part of your game. Yeah, yeah. no, the that's intro, fair. I'm sure it's, the beginning it's, part it's, sucks. Every MMO is bad until you're like max level. I'm like, well, that's... No, no I, think, I think like somewhere in the middle when you're like level 50, usually in MMOs is when the game gets the coolest because like I used to play Perfect World... And, like, once you hit, like, level 40, they let you start doing, like, raids. Like, you can do dungeon crawling yeah. and stuff like that. Aside okay. from that, it's just, like, you you run around the world. 
You kill monsters. I was I was a Venomancer, so I could catch oh, them. And this I was a Venomancer. This this episode is gonna be called "We're Stupid Fucking Nerds." We're big, fat, That's every episode. Nerd. No, this is the, this nerds. is the nerdiest episode for sure. We're actually talking about like stuff. Yeah, video games. Yeah, video games. We're the real video games. I fucking yeah. I, okay, I for one fucking hate video games. I love video games. That's I, my, I that's like three fourths of my person. I play I played two a year, not because I don't have the time, because I simply just refuse to do it. I just, I just can't. I can't. I can't. You can't say that when you caved in and played Fortnite with us. Yeah, for like two weeks. And you said you had fun. Yeah, and then I stopped playing it. That's fair. Guess who hasn't played Fortnite since? He never touched it again. This guy. <laughs> said, this guy. I remember everyone was like, we're playing Fortnite. And I was like, dude, I don't fucking play Fortnite. And then you <laughs> loved Fortnite. it more than anybody and else in the chat. And then I got good at Fortnite, and I was like, oh, dude. Yeah. I just got fucking 23. I don't know. I don't know if it's me, but like. After playing that game for like a week, I'm like, damn, is it even like hard to get good? Like without like the building and shit. Like I, I don't feel it's like it's hard. It's not like insanely it's skill not that intensive hard. though. But they but you they change the weapons all decent. the time. They change the weapons all the time and sometimes it's get, it gets Well that's weird. why that's why it's stupid because it's like you can't really truly get good because the game's different every month. Yeah. Like what's the point? I mean, even you Callie, know? like not to say anything about her playing games, but she's not really a gamer like that and she more or less picked up Fortnite in like a month or two. I think that's just a well designed game at that point. Yeah, I mean, kids are playing it. You know, yeah. fucking four year olds are playing yeah. it. So, Fortnite. I love I love crushing children in in video games. Well, speaking I of just love crushing speaking children. of <laughs> speaking of crushing children okay. in games. <laughs> speaking of crushing children's in games. One time I went to um I went to Disney, and we were in this like little carnival game section, and uh, my girlfriend uh, Clem she was telling me she's right here. Like I don't know why I'm speaking to her like that. Um, you pointed her. Yeah, I guess. Pointed at her. <laughs> no one can see her. her. Um. I, uh, we were in the carnival game section and she really wanted this plush. And I was just like, you know, I'm not really a com like that type of competitor. I'm not like, I'm going to bring home the whatever, oh, yeah. bring home the gold. Puff your I, chest out. I, I, dude, I, I want for, I was it like $20 I spent. I spent $20 on tokens and got n like nine plush. I played a game where I got four plush in one game. I crushed literally every child, and I felt I, I I didn't feel bad, but like get good. You, you said I, mean? I crushed what? every single child. Get fucking good. Like get what fucking the hell? better. Dude. Imagine min maxing a children's game. <laughs> 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 that's the shit I do, man. I love it. Like that's that's. I don't know if that's just because I'm a piece of shit or I have autism. People play Pokemon <laughs> be doing that. Yeah, for sure. No, definitely. People forget. Like adults will play Pokemon. They're like, mm, this game sucks, and I'm like, yeah. Dude, it's made for six year olds. <laughs> and they're like, how can we make this not fun? Like, literally, like, <laughs> what do you mean, like, you're overanalyzing this game when all the kids playing it are like, oh, I like you, Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, I love, I love, I love how. Oh, oh I can ride Gyarados. I love like, how, that's... until very recently, like, the game, like, there were all these, like, hidden features and stuff they didn't openly discuss. And people had to, like, dig the dark depths of the internet to figure out how the game like during like ruby and sapphire yeah, yeah, yeah. and oh, then they were like and then and then and then they were just like at some point they were like fuck it you just like just let everybody have it all press press four buttons and your pokemon have max stats and i'm like <laughs> sweet dude fuck i hate i hate grinding in video games just eliminate it for it me kind, they kind of ruined pokemon a little bit i'm not gonna lie when they made it to where uh all of your pokemon get experience oh no that 100 percent that ruins, ruined the game yeah, for sure yeah. i mean i still play it but i mean like that that ruined the difficulty. I, I love how they, sure. like, uh, during uh, X and Y, they gave you the option. That's when they first made that item, <laughs> and they gave you the option to turn it on or off. Like, how are you going to tell me I'm to avoid the temptation of not having to play yeah. the game for an extra 30 hours just to <laughs> beat it? I know for me, uh, <clears throat> that's kind of convenient because when I play Pokemon, I just pick the same Pokemon every time because they're my yeah. highest leveled. You just play with your starter. And then at some point your starter's a level ninety, and it doesn't matter what the fuck it's fighting, yeah. it's going to kill it. Like, yeah. I mean, oh, until you're, you start you, playing you, on, uh, you're super God, effective against me. I'm just gonna fucking kill you. Until you start playing online though, because I'm playing online now. And oh my I have, God. Like, all level nineties, I'm still getting fucking wrecked. Well, I, I realistically stopped playing Pokemon like religiously like a lot <laughs> when when wow. the original Pearl came out, which is like right when online. Pokemon Dude, like those yeah, pretty much. Those games are so good. I love. Yeah, Pearl was cool. Pearl, I, rem Pearl I remember everything before. That, I remember yeah. as a child walking into a GameStop after I had gotten a Nintendo DS Lite not too long before the game came out, mm -hmm. and I just walked into a GameStop and saw it, and I was like, 
I need There's it. a new Pokemon. I like imagine like living in a time and era where you didn't don't know have are, internet. You don't even know it's dude, about to like Dude, take me drop. back. Take me back, yeah, man. I'm so old. I can't so imagine. Old. How did we find? Well, they had commercials. Yeah, yeah, I, they didn't have Pokemon commercials. No, they on. did. I never saw them. I saw Pokemon. There, the, there was definitely a diamond or, or commercial. You'd hear, you'd hear through the grapevine, through your friends. No, <laughs> I saw a diamond commercial. There was like Piplup and Chimchar. I, might, I must have missed it, man, because I just walked into GameStop and I was like, what the fuck? I think, That'd I be think, crazy, though. I can't imagine. <laughs> just like, no Pokemon game. I think for me, is like my my cousins were playing it. And then I was just like, That's holy true. shit, I got to get this. I didn't have any friends, it. so, you know. And then we, we all traded Pokemon all the time. <laughs> and I remember Pearl was cool because you would just like, I would put like a Ratatat. In the fucking trade, and then I oh. would be like asking for Celebi. Yeah, yeah. man. People and then still someone do would that. just give me it. Some yeah. dude in Japan, it would always have like a Japanese name because dude in Pe- Japan apparently people still do. They just that got it over. Day. They got it like that. They got it like they that. got all the good Pokemon they're over hacking. there. They're hacking. That's probably, what Zach told me. Probably. He was like, "Oh, you know why they do that? Because they're hacking." Probably because I got like a Charizard, and it was like Pokemon G <laughs> GXZ dot com. I'm like, "Why the fuck did they do that?" He's like, "Oh, it's hacked." I was like, oh. <laughs> well, mine weren't like that. They, can yeah, we just can we get can we can we get Pokemon and call them Real Hoss Podcasts? And then trade them away to people to random strangers on that, the internet. The best kind of promoting, just do surprise trading. That's with a everything. crazy. That's actually a crazy just idea. Do at real hoss. Oh, we're doing that. I'll do it. I mean, I already do it right that, now. That we might change. That's like Pokemon. that's like Soja Boy like naming his songs Michael Jackson Thriller on LimeWire. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> shout out Soldier Boy. Shout out, shout out Soldier Boy. I, I, fucking I, a lunatic. Yeah, he's crazy. I would be too if I was Soldier Boy, though. To be fair. I mean, I feel him. Yeah. I haven't made a hit song in ten years and. You're making all. You made all your money off ringtones in 2007. That's crazy. He's got to be doing something for himself. Oh yeah, he's here. selling fake uh, video games. Yeah, he's selling bootleg video game consoles that plays every game ever known. Yeah, I can get that shit at the fucking flea market for twenty dollars. <laughs> I need that. You need it? Yeah, get me one. Go to the flea market. Soldier boy, hit us up. Yeah, soldier boy, sponsor us. Soldier boy, drop me some grace. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. What do you think? How, how long has this episode been going for? Probably about forty minutes, right? Forty-one minutes and Close. sixteen seconds. Yeah. How's about we call it a call it a day, huh? Yeah, it's been strong. We're, it's we're been a good episode. Good episode. Cool. Cool. Big. Right nice. There. Uh, comment down below if you're listening on Spotify. Um, if you're like, on- follow us. Um, Follow us on Instagram if you, at Real Hoss. If Follow you, us on TikTok at Realist Hoss. If you ain't got any social media and don't use the internet, come knock on our front door and tell us how much you liked it. Here, my address shot. is... <laughs> no, um, yeah. If you're on YouTube, hit the bell notification, subscribe, like, comment, do all the things. Um, if we get more interaction on these videos, maybe we'll roll out some like behind-the-scenes content and stuff like that. Also... Who else would you guys like to see on the podcast? Yeah, drop a comment. Yeah, we're all below. about just having random dudes on the podcast. I think I think it's time. Yeah, we're gonna have surprise guest features. We want some pals. We want some if you're new interested. friends. We if want some new artists. Maybe if you guys want to come up. Oh. If you're interested in being on the podcast, let us know. Anybody who's interested, let it's us gonna know. be seven million dollars if you want to promo though. If you want to promo, keep it in mind. Yeah, three hundred twenty-seven thousand dollars. Yeah. And on that note, we end the show. Good night. Good night. Sayonara. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you Good night. later. Good night Fuck forever. Your Good night Good forever. Night and Good night safe. forever.